the cold water now to stop the cooking process. Oops. That's a lot of fun. Hi my friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Marie and this is my container garden. I'm going to be harvesting some corn. A lot of my corns, they are ready so I'm going to harvest them and process them. And I'm going to show you how I do that one way in which I process them to have them for future use. Alright, so I have this patch here and I have a patch here and they are entire right here I made a it's a raised bed so everything is in container i'm going to harvest most of them because they are ready and i don't want them drying out on me i have some down in there as well and i have a patch right here and this is also in a tire for most of my corns if not all i have two ears growing on each band and they're really nice ears this one is huge I think this is the largest ear that I have. We'll see when we open them up. The other one from the same plant. Wow, this one is, is big as well. I'm going to leave that smaller one and this one. I'm not sure if those are ready. make my way down through here to get to that patch right here there are some more in here but um those are in two tires as well there are some more in here, but I'm not sure if they're ready. So I'm going to leave those ones. Alright, heading back over to this side. I think most of these are ready as well. Yeah, most of these are ready. Some are a little small, but hey. Every plant produced. So I can't complain. leaving the smaller ones to continue developing the heat is on it's so hot today This is number one, it's not perfect. There are a few grains missing, but it's good.
they're missing a few grains but that's fine they're lovely ears size of this one Now when your corns or your vegetables are not genetically modified, you will get imperfection. Hence I have corns of varying size and shapes and some missing a few grains, some big, some small, but I believe this is a, a good harvest for chicken manure and mulch. I believe and they were attacked by worms. I think this is awesome. So I'm going to cut these in halves and I'm going to blanch them and um, let me take it to the kitchen. Let me just quickly cut them in halves. I'm just going to chop them. These small ones can, can stay small but for the bigger ones I'll just chop those in half like these ones. Okay, so here I have a big container of corn. I have um, cut them into halves. Um, I have some water boiling. I'm going to place them in my pot over here and just blanch them for a few minutes and then I'll package them. Now this is a big size pot and it is filled all the way to the top. I have to be eating up more water to pour on it if i were to purchase all of these corns it would be a decent penny because this is a big size pot all right, so my, my corn they're blanched and i'm going to strain off the hot water and here i have my my mesh container in my sink of what i'm going to pour them to bring them back to room temperature in the cold water Going to just pour them in the cold water now to stop the cooking process. Oops, that's a lot of corn. I'm going to store them in these ziplock containers, these ziplock bags. I'm going to use these mainly for soup and if I'm jerking chicken, so have them frozen will be fine. It will be perfect. Frosting up the bags. That's fine. I think I have some leftovers here. And these are the imperfections that we expect when we grow our food organically, right? Yeah, 
All right, so there you go. We have three bags with one, two, three, four, five, twelve, one dozen pieces in each. So that's a good amount of corn. I'm grateful and pleased. Okay, so here, here's a better view of the corns. I'm going to store these in the freezer. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for following my journey with these corns from planting to pollinating to now harvesting and storing. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. If you're watching and you've not yet subscribed, please go ahead and press that subscribe button. Also the notification bell. So you will be notified whenever I post content. Also like, leave a comment and share with your friends. Because if you like my videos, chances are they will like them too. All right. Bye-bye.